Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 Jesus. Hey, God, my child. Jesus. Yes, Lord. My God. Jesus. My God. Call on the name Jesus. Hallelujah. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Excuse me. Let me take that out my ear. Good morning. Good morning, good people. God bless you this morning. I pray that you were well this morning. I pray that you had a wonderful night. Yeah, I pray that you um, uh, uh, have gotten up and you are thanking God for another day, that you are yet grateful um, for another day that the Lord has blessed us with. Yeah, and that you're giving God thanks, that this is the day that the Lord has made. And we shall, we choose to rejoice and to be glad in it. We, we, we choose, we shall look to the Lord, look to the hills from which cometh our help. Look to God from which comes our help. Listen, I came on this morning um, um, as the Lord has um, um, unctioned me to this morning to um, tell someone Remind someone, encourage someone, my God, yeah, that that uh, uh, that God, that God's got it, that God is more so, that God is in control. God has it, whatever it is, whatever it is, whatever it is, my God, that you may be going through whatever it is, that you may be dealing with whatever it is, that you're working your way through whatever it is, my God, that may even be opposing you, whatever it is. I want you to know, God wants you to know that he is in control. God's got it. And he is in control. My God. Yeah, he is in control. And not only does God have it, but God has you. My God, whatever the thing is that may be weighing you down this morning, whatever the thing thing is that may be overwhelming you this morning, whatever the thing or whoever, whoever or whatever the thing is that may be um, heavy on your mind this morning, heavy on your, the weight of it, heavy on your shoulders this morning, that it has you in, in a place or a state of worrying uh, or, or, or frustration or um um, uh, um, overly concerned, even in some uh, instances, in someone's case, it may even be in a place of fear, fearfulness. God is in control. God's got it and he is in control. And we just have to trust my God, we have to trust him. We have to trust him with it. We have to trust him with us. We have to trust what he said. Because one of the things um, the Spirit of the Lord um, took me to a uh, 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 passage of Scripture in Deuteronomy, and there was a war going on, and and the, and, and the Lord said to the servant, uh, they were coming up against the army of Og, and um, the Lord said to the servant, um, um, fear not, fear not, my God. Be, he said, be strong and be courageous, fear not. My God, for I am with you. I have already, my God, I have already given them into your hand. So you already, you're already going to win. God already has, uh, uh, has obtained the victory. God has already, my God, yeah, he has already uh, um, gotten the conclusion or made the conclusion uh, of the matter. He has already settled. Thank you, Holy Spirit. He has already settled the conclusion of the matter. He has already settled, my God, the outcome. He has already settled the victory. He has already settled it for you, it on your behalf. He has already settled it. He is in control. Irregardless of what it looks like this morning, irregardless of what it feels like, irregardless of 
of my God, of how it may have you um, feel pressed up against the wall. It may have you feeling like there, there's there's no way out, that you have uh, uh, no way of escape. You have no way out. My God, that you have no options. My God, well, listen, listen, listen. God wants you to know this morning he is in control. He is in control. God's got it. He's in control and know that God has you. God's got you. He has got you. There's nothing that has gotten by God. There's nothing that has gotten by God. And there's nothing, there's some things that may seem like it has, uh, uh, it may have gotten by, but it has not gotten away. Okay. God is in control and God's got it. And he also has you. So fear not. He says, be strong, be strong in, in, in the strength of the Lord, build yourself up in what he said. Sometimes we got to take and apply the word. We got to get out of our emotions. We got to step back from the feelings, my God, of feeling, the feelings of fear, the feelings of frustration, the feelings of being overwhelmed, the feelings, my God, of all the emotions that can run amok. And apply the word. Remember the word. Settle in the word. And the word this morning is. God says he is. He's in control. God is in control. And he's got it. He's got it. Whatever that it is. Whatever that thing is. In your life. Whatever that thing is. That's that's intruding. My God. That has found its way into your proximity, into your space, into your face, into your life. My God, that thing that is in, intruding, your peace, your joy, your comfort, your life. My God, hey, come on, shaba, hey, come on, shaba, hey, come on, Know that God has it and God has you and he is still in control. Whether it's mental Physical, psychological, whether it's financial, whether it's health-wise, whatever it is, there's nothing greater than God. Nothing, absolutely nothing. It may feel that way to us. It may feel great to us or greater, greater than us, more, uh, uh, more, um, how can I say more um, powerful, if you will, if I can use that word, more enormous, thank you, Holy Spirit, than us. But those are the things that we have to trust God with, that we have to know. We have to apply what he said. He said, this is what he says. I'll never leave you nor forsake you. For the Lord, your God, for the Lord, our God is with us and he will never leave us nor forsake us. So we are not alone. We don't we don't go through um, just um, um, by ourselves. But there are those times where we have to be reminded that God is with us. He is for us and he is with us. And that God has it. And he is in control. He is in control of it all. And he has us. And his promise is to care for us, to provide for us, to take care of us, to watch over us, to protect us, to comfort us, to keep us. Yeah. So whatever may be worrying you this morning, weighing you down this morning, have you um, possibly pulling your hair out this morning? My God. Yeah. Um, um, just just wringing your hands this morning, whatever it is, my God, that may have you feeling like um, uh, uh, it is it, it has one. Um, it has overcome you. It has overtaken you. It has overtaken your peace, your joy. My God, it's, it has ill. Mm -hmm. Traded, my God, and come in, intruded on your space, your territory, your peace of mind, yeah, your atmosphere. Know this 
Know this, God's got it and he is still in control, irregardless of how out of control it may feel, irregardless of how out of control it may even look. Hey, come on, shine. Hey, cut up, shine. Know that God is in control. And God will not allow it to destroy you. He will not allow it to overtake you. He will not allow it. My God. To pull you out of his will, of his way, of his love, of his protection. Hey, come on, Sha. So no, he wants you to know he's in control. God is in control. He's got it and he's got you. He will never leave you. That's a promise. He will never leave you nor forsake you. And that's in Deuteronomy 3.16. If you want to read about it, this was this was pertaining to a war that was going on and the victory that God was giving um, to his people over the enemy and the army that was uh, opposing them. And so sometimes our war may not be may not be with the army, my God, but it, but but our wrestle, our war, our struggle, our challenge, our frustration. Can be with the situation, can be with the thing, could be with, with people, can be with the person. But even in that, God is saying, do not uh, uh, be afraid. Do not be afraid. But be strengthened and be and be courageous, my God, to stand up in what he said, to trust what he said, and to know that because God said it. Because God is is uh, um, um, uh, employing employing us this morning to take Him at His word and trust. We just got to trust Him. We got to trust that He'll li- never leave us. We got to trust that He has it. We got to trust that He is in control. We got to trust that He has us and that He gonna see us through. He gonna bring us out. He going to cause us to prevail in and through him and trusting him and having faith to believe in him enough that in some instances we could just take our hands off of it, take our hands off of it, take our mouth off of it, take our attitude out of it. My God, hey, God, I thank you. Take your mouth off of it. Take your hands off of it. Take your attitude out of it. My God, and know that God has it and he is in control and he's going to work it out. He's going to take care of it. He's going to fix it. My God, he's going to deliver you from it. He's going to work it together for your good, for our good. He's going to work it out. He's going to work it out. And then in Matthew 28 and 20, he said, I will be with you always, even until the end of the world. I will be with you always. So sometimes when we're in a place that we're in a we're we're in a fight, we're in a wrestle, we're we're in a um um uh, um uh, uh, we're in a hard place, if you will, my God. We feel like we're being pulled. We're in between a thing. We just have to remind ourselves. We have to remember that God is with us. That God is still in control. That there's nothing that has gotten by him. That he has it. And that he is in control. And then trust him enough. To believe him. To let go of it. Hey God I thank you. And to know that because it's in his hands. Hey, God, I thank you because it's in his hands, it's in the hand of God, it's in the heart of God, it's in the mind of God. 
to take care of it, to work it out, to fix it, to make it right. My God, irrevocable recompense. My God, that you will receive on the other side of it. The greatness and the blessedness and the awesomeness. My God. The abount the, the bounty of the Lord, the abundance of his goodness, they come out shy of his blessedness. You will see the salvation of the Lord, my God. That's another passage of scripture said, be still, be still and know that I am God. Be still and see the salvation of the Lord. If I can just get you to be still, if I can get you, if I can get you out of anxiousness, if I can get you, my God, out of worry, if I can get you out of your head, if I can get you out of frustration, if I can get you to believe, if I can get you to trust me, if I can get you. To a place of peace. Will you trust me to do so? Will you trust me to. to, uh, uh, Will you trust to allow me? God says. Know this morning. No matter what it is. No matter where it is. No matter how it came. how how, How it got where it is. No matter how it got there. God has it and he is in control. And not only does he has it, but God has you. And because he does, my God, you are protected. You are covered. You are safe. You are safe. My God, you are safe. You are safe. In him, you are safe. You are safe. God bless you this morning. God bless you. God bless you. Good morning. Good to see you. God bless you. It's so good to see you, Veronica. How are you? Yes, yes, yes. God's got you. God's got you. And you were in his care. And he has whatever it is that's trying to have you, whatever it is that's trying to overtake you, whatever it is that's trying to worry you, whatever it is. My God. They come out shy. Great, wonderful. Whatever it is that's trying to oppose you, whatever it is that's trying to stand in the way, whatever it is. That's trying to hinder you and trying to stop you, whatever it is. That's trying to steal and rob your joy and your peace, whatever it is. God's got it. And he is in control. And he has you. So believe it. Believe that he does. Trust that he does. Have faith in our God. Or have faith in God. And for someone who may who may see this and may not may not know God in that way, may not know God. My God, I implore you, I implore you, my God, to reach out to him, to look to to, to accept him, to receive him into your life. I, I implore you, my God, to look to God, to lean on God, to learn about God. My God, to get in relationship with God and let him help you. My God, let him help you. Let him build you. Let him strengthen you. Let him encourage you. Let him show you. My God, let him show you who he is. Let him show you. It don't have to be secondhand um, knowledge. It don't have to be um, uh, somebody else's experience. 
but you can have your own experience. You can have your own one-on-one. My God, you can have your own, my God, you and God thing, you and God time, you and God relationship. Now, don't get me wrong. I'm, when I say secondhand, I don't mean I, I, I don't mean it in the sense of, uh, of, of testifying. See, because testi- testifying is somebody else's experience, but something you can identify and relate to. My God, and somebody else's experience that God has helped them through, that God has had control over, that God has had them and it in control and have brought them to a place of victory. Their testimony is going to help. Help somebody else to see and to know and to understand if God did it for them, he could do it for me. If God, my God, worked it out and worked it through, my God, and healed and brought them out and brought them through, then he can do it for me. And it also lets a person know that I am not alone. That I'm not the only one. My God. And also... That God loves me. Hey, God, my Shabbat, that the heart of God, my God, the desire of the Lord is to reach each and every one of us. The Bible says that he so God so loved that he gave his only begotten son. He so loved the world. So he loves us all. He loves us. Irregardless, he loves us. He loves us enough to come where we are, to help us, to save us, to get us, to bring us out, to deliver us. My God, to strengthen us, to transform us, to change us from the inside out. He loved us enough to come where we are. And to save us and to get us, regardless of what to, to what state that we were in. He had it and he was in control. He had it then and he has it now. He had it when we didn't know that he did. When we didn't think that he did. He had it and he was in control then. And he has it and he's in control now. Yeah. So, yeah. (laughs) Let's keep believing. Let's keep trusting. Let's keep holding on. My God. To what he said, sometimes it's the word. It's the word. God made a promise. God gave us a word. He said, know this today, this morning. That I have it and I am in control. But know also that I have you. Know also that I have you. And God is doing only what God can do. With whatever it is, with wherever it is, with however it is, God's got it. And he is in control. And when I was in my mess, when I was before grace, my God, hey, come my Shia, before grace, before grace came, my God. Before love came, mercy came, and grace came, and found me, God had it, and God was in control of the mess in the situation that I was in when I didn't know that he did. So there's hope for us all. Hey, come on, Shia, there's hope. Hey, God, I thank you. There's hope for us all. My God. There's hope. The saying said, as long as there's life, there's hope. So I thank God this morning. I bless God for you, Veronica. It is so good to see you. God bless you this morning. I love you. God bless you. Yes, yes, yes. So yeah, be encouraged. Be encouraged. Be strengthened by the word. Be courageous by the word. Be encouraged by the word. My God. And trust God for the word. Trust God for his promise. Trust God for what he said. And he said, I got it. God's got it. 
and God, and he is in control. So fear not. Trump, faith, Trump fear with faith. Trump fear with faith. Put your faith over fear. Whatever faith you have. Hey, God, I thank you. Whatever faith you have, hey, come on, shy. hey, God, I'm all shy. Whatever faith you have, apply that, my God. Apply that. Dwell in that. Reside in that. And ask God to strengthen that, to help you to build that, my God, that we can trust and believe. Him even the more. That we can take him at his word even the more. My God. That when situation comes. When trouble start uh, um, 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 coming our way if you will. When, when, when things start uh, rolling in if you will. When the waves of trouble and, and life and things and people. Um, uh, uh, that mean us no good if you will. Start um, uh, coming our way. My God. Let us have uh, the faith to believe, the faith to keep standing, the faith, my God, to put to apply the word. <laughs> That's what I want to get to. Apply the word. Apply what he said and dwell there. My God, reside there. And watch God. And let God. <laughs> Unto the glory of God. God bless you this morning. I so love you. Yeah, I pray that you go and have yourself a God joy filled, amazing day. That's right. That's right. In the peace of God, in the blessedness of God, in the assurance of God, and knowing that no matter what it is, no matter how it is, God's got it. And God is still, He is in control. And that he has you as well. He has us as well. Okay. God bless you. I so love you this morning. This is a moment to speak life. Yeah. My God. So go live. Go live. Go live in what he said. Go live. My God. Go live in what he said. Go live in believing what he said. Go live in trusting what he said. Unto the glory of God. God bless you. Go have yourself a God joy filled amazing day. Love you much. Bye bye.